Good afternoon. My name is Joseph Lloyd and I am a huge fan of cars used in old British TV series filmed between the late 1950s and late 1990s. Join me on a journey as we look back on over 40 years of British television and its relationship with the automobile. I made a selection of videos last year talking about a lot of these series and I'm doing it again to make them even better. This is Simon Templer. <laughs> So, I've been putting this off for quite some time because it, it's such an enormous topic, this. But it is one of the most important television series of the 1960s. And we have already covered its sequel, Return of the Saints. So, time to look at Roger Moore's finest television series ever made, which is The Saint, broadcast from 1962 to 1969 and filmed between 62 and 68. The Saint is a character that was originally created by Leslie Charteris in the late 1920s. The first novel that he wrote was called Meet the Tiger. And indeed, Leslie Charteris had a certain degree of script approval for the Saint series. Now, there were many other Saint adaptations before Roger Moore um, starred as Simon Templar. There were ones which starred George Sanders and um, many other people as well. I think even one with Vincent Price, as far as I remember. But this was the definitive adaptation for a whole generation of people. And it is a very, very, very long-running series. It ran for 118 episodes. The first four series of the Saint, or what we would class today as um, four series, it's a bit more complicated than that, but I won't go into too much of it, were in black and white, and they were picked up um, by um, the American networks, made by a company called, I think it was called New World Productions, that was um, a, a sort of collaboration between Robert S. Baker, Monty Berman and um, Roger Moore. For the colour series of The Saint, which was um, fil uh, first filmed in 1965, Monty Berman by that stage had gone off to make the Baron. I think they filmed a, a like a test episode in November '65 with um, Robert S. Baker and Roger Moore on their own. Monty Berman was making the Baron, and actually, um, after they finished Gideon's Way, which was what they they made, I think, directly after the first four seasons of The Saint, they um, made the Baron together for a little while, and then. Monty Berman went his way and Robert S. Baker went the other way because two rival American networks, um, I think it was NBC, um, who wanted the colour episode of The Saint. Um, they wanted a little test, which is, I think, called Russian Prisoner, that was filmed in November 65. And then The House on Dragon's Rock was the start of the filming proper in 1966. They filmed all the way through to... No the summer of 1968 with an episode called The Wild Beater. That's one of my favourite episodes of The Saint. And there really is no introduction needed for what Simon Templer does. He's a kind of a solitary character. He very occasionally uses the um, alias Sebastian II, particularly when he's talking about the United States of America. Um, he has a, a, a valet in, in America called Hopper Uniats, I think his name is. But apart from that, the other main character is um, Inspector Claude Eustace Teal, um, who is most popularly played by Ivor Dean. But towards the beginning of the of the, um, the series of The Saint, there were other actors who took on the role. Ivor Dean, of course, very famous for his um, role as Bates, the butler, in the event episode of Dead Man's Treasure, amongst other things. Inspector Large and Randall Hawke deceased, you know, he's very well-known actor, but he didn't appear in every episode, of course. It was only some of them. 
Roger Moore himself, I think, really identified with the character and he's very, very good at, in the role. Episodes were sometimes filmed abroad. Um, the, Angel Eye, the Angel's Eye, yeah, Angel's Eye, that was filmed in um, Holland and The Death of the Saint, which was either a two-part episode or a theatrical film, depending on your point of view, that was filmed in Malta. So uh, very much the gold standard for when it comes to ITC series of the 1960s. In terms of the cars of the Saint, obviously the most famous one of all is a Volvo P1800. The car was later called the 1800S when they started making it in Sweden. It was originally made at the Jensen factory in West Bromwich from 1961 onwards. And Jaguar, of course, very famously, as uh, Johnny Goodman, who was a production supervisor on the, on the Saint, used to say, they just declined to provide a car. They said, if you want to have a knee type, you can buy one like everyone else. You can go in the queue and you can pay full price for it. They didn't feel they needed the publicity. That's something that they rectified in Return of the Saint. But Volvo were very keen to supply them a car, and that was the new car in the 1961 motor show as well as the E-Type. And so the Saint drove a Volvo, and he even did so in the Saint film of 1997, but we can't talk about that because that is not good. But the uh, Volvo 1800, or P1800, the original ones were called, was a fantastic car. The first one that they had was 71 DXC. That car still survives. I've seen it actually at a couple of occasions. One of them being um, a 50th um, sort of anniversary type thing for, I think, the end of production of the Avengers. That was a few years ago now. Um, and um, also at another ITC event at Austria Studios, I saw the car there. I mean, amazing to see it. Our original spec, what's called the cowhorn bumpers in front of it. And they originally had just one car that they used. They then got another one, which we think was a sort of 64 model. In an episode called A Frightened Innkeeper, you see the car being blown up. And whether they actually use a 64 model of car is massively open to debate because what seems to have happened is they got another car in called 77 GYL and that was used for um, doing a lot of exterior shots. They actually um, cut up the original, um, I think they had two cars, and they cut up one of the cars of the interior so they could film inside it and that's the, car, that's the interior of the car that you see right the way through till the end and um, it's uh, actually even seen in uh, Abbot of the Baron called Portrait of, of Louisa so they they put some of the S features onto uh, an older car to make it look a little newer um, and um, that we believe was 77 GYL they might have used a couple of other cars but that's the information as far as I understand it so you will have seen um, a couple of still black and white shots of those two there's also um, a colour shot of one of the earlier cars that looks like a 65 model, but I haven't really included that because it's not clear whether that car actually was an updated model or is it just one that had been modified. I don't know. However, in 1967, they bought two new cars. I think ITC actually bought them rather than Volvo supplying them because ITC kept um, their car, which was um, an... UV647E and Roger Moore had a personal car NUV648E so uh, he was very keen to drive that car even in his personal life and there's an episode of Jay Leno's Garage that you can see the owner of NUV648E um, actually brings it back to Jay Leno and um, Roger Moore had a fan I think installed in the back of it to cool it down because he wouldn't have had air conditioning in, a, in an 1800S but yes, that's the main car used in The Saint, and lovely it is too. The 
because there are so many episodes of The Saint and they were made on film as opposed to videotape, there's an awful lot to talk about. There's actually more to talk about because of The Saint as opposed to The Avengers, because the first three episodes, the first three seasons of The Avengers were on videotape and they barely left the studio, so there's not so many cars that you see. Whereas The Saint, always on film, last two series in colour, um, lots and lots and lots of cars, and I'll, I'll go through this list as quick as I can, but this will be a longer episode than usual. I have cut out an awful lot of cars um, that are used in The Saint, and even so, I've got loads more than usual. So I hope you enjoy having a little tour through. Um, first of all, 1961 Walsley 699, 489 BLU police car that gets used in all kinds of stuff that police car you see it in the first episode of Department S as well for example um, you have very very famous um, film police car in Simon and Delilah there's 1959 Alfa Romeo Giulietta Sprint in red absolutely beautiful in Medetta for the Saint um, I don't when I, when I say this I'm not going to split this episode up into parts one and two I'm just going to say this is like if you're watching the film editor of the Saint, which is put two episodes spliced together. Um, there's a 1962 Alfa Romeo Police Hundred Spider Touring that's used in the shots in Malta. In the Noble Sportsman, Anthony Quayle drives a 1963 Aston Martin DB5. It's the DB5 from Goldfinger, one year before it appeared in the film. Um, I think the episode's from 1963. It is BMT 2168. They actually repainted the car for Goldfinger. Originally, it was Dubonnet red, as you see in the same, but it's black and white, so it looks like it's grey anyway. And then it was gunmetal grey um, in the film Goldfinger. So that actually is the car from Goldfinger and the Saint, which is really strange. In the Fiction Makers, um, another um, episode that's in two parts, but also really theatrically is one part. There's a 1937 Austin 16 at one one stage. It looks pretty ropey, actually. I'm sure that car didn't survive production. In Little Girl Lost, but it's a very rare shot of the car that's used in Danger Man by Patrick McGoo, and it's a 1963 Austin Mini Cooper S 1071 uh, Taurus, I think it's called. It's a, it's a tuned one. Um, 731HOP. It's a sort of grey with a a white roof. In Danger Man, 98% of the episodes are black and white, so you never see the Mini um, in colour, but you're doing the same. It's funny that they must have literally just they used that after the production finished because Danger Man finished filming in April 66, I think, so it would have been around. And then in The Impotent Politician, there's a very nice 1964 um, Austin Mini Super Deluxe BPA 852B. Talking of Austins, in The Persistent Patriots, there's a 1966 Austin A60 Cambridge, uh, JLH381D. In When Spring Is Sprung, which is supposed to be the south of France, but I think that was filmed in northwest London somewhere. Um, there's a 1963 Austin Healey 3000 Mark II. I hope to drive an Austin Healey 3000 at some point in my life. In The Latin Touch, which is the second episode of The Saint, set in Rome, there's a 1961 Chevrolet Impala Sport Coupe. In To Kill a Saint, there are two Citroen DS19s. One's a 1959 colour in like a pale yellow, whereas um, the second car that's used is a 65 model in a bright yellow colour. And that's because they did a little bit of location filming in Paris with the bright yellow car. Whereas in the studio, there's a very ropey looking um, light yellow one. In The Queen's Ransom, there's another Citroen DS at 19. It's a white one, a 63 model. There's lots of cars in The Queen's Ransom, actually, so we'll be mentioning that quite a lot. In The Ex-King of Diamonds, which was the episode that sort of patterned the Persuaders, there's a 1961 Citroen 2CV AZLM. 
and the novel card from the Queen's Ransom, which also appears in the first episode of The Baron, although I don't think I talked about it in an episode, a 1953 Citroën 11 Normal Traction. One of the things I like about The Saint is seeing cars that aren't particularly normal for the 60s in their episodes. And one of them is a 1965 Daimler 2.5 litre V8 um, HPD 505C that's used in a double in diamonds. It, I don't think a, a, there's too many Jaguar Mark IIs in The Saint, but there is a Daimler 2.5 litre though, it's interesting. Another car um, that's used in The Death of The Saint is a 1961 Fiat 1500. Then um, Warren Mitchell, yes, the Warren Mitchell, plays an Italian taxi driver in the Latin Touch, and he drives a 1960 Fiat Multipla. Um, if you ever wanted to see his Italian accent, then uh, that's the episode for you. In The Desperate Diplomat, there is a 1966 Fiat 550 Coupe. It looks really similar to the one used in the title sequence of The Protectors. I don't know if it is or not, because you don't see the car kind of um, toppling over in the Saints, so I, I don't really know. I have to, have to see, I suppose. In the organization, man, there's a 1950 Ford Anglia that really is an inadequate car for a car chase, but there's a chase with it anyway. WMX 173. Another thing that they did a lot of is um, pretending that roads in this country were roads abroad, and um, the Dead of Satan is no exception. Some of it was filmed in Malta, but there was a lot of it filmed in this country as well, and there's a 1958 Ford Town of 17M Deluxe that's used um, in Secret of Saturn, uh, actually filmed in this country. And in The Power Artist, another Ford Console Corsair, um, that's a 1964 model, a BGO 567B, uh, before the V4 models, um, so a little bit quieter, I imagine. Uh, that's a nice colour, that one, actually. Now, Ford did uh, supply some press cars to the Saint. Um, one of them was a 1966 Ford Zodiac, RTW823D, in an episode called The Fast Women, which um, does contain some car chases, of course. In the last series, which was sort of being filmed um, up until when Randall Hawkett, the deceased, was picking up, there's a very familiar police car that's also used in that series. It's OXE998F, and it's a 1968 Ford Zephyr-6. In the best laid schemes, um, there's a lovely 1963 Humber Super Snipe, 102 HGW. It looks very similar to the one used in um, the Avengers up the Fear Merchants, but it's not the same because the plates don't match. In the World Beater, there um, is a 1968 Jensen FF driven by... George A. Cooper, yes, the chap from Grange Hill, amongst all sorts of other things. Um, that's a uh, Jemson supplied car, BEA4F. In the Scales of Justice, there's a 1965 Jaguar E type fixed head coupe. That will be the uh, 3.8 litre uh, GYU428C. Um, I drove a Jaguar E type actually on the channel earlier this year, and if you want to see that, then I'll put a link in the description below. In the Queen's Ransom, another car that's used, and this is very predictable if you know anything about ITC series of the 60s. It's a 1957 Jaguar Mark I, and of course it goes off a cliff because it's white, and that's what happens. Um, though that particular bit is supposed to be in France, but it was filmed at the Stulen Dam, which is in North Wales. In the Fiction Makers, there's a 1961 Humber Hawk Series 2, 580 RKT. That's used as some kind of weird gadget car for some reason.
one of the nov another lovely car of a saint is a 1962 Lancia Flaminia GT3 C convertible in where the money is. That's a beautiful car. I'd love one of those. Another car from the World Beater is a 1968 Marcos 1600 B A R 64F. That car actually still exists. Uh, the owner um, has posted about that on the internet quite recently. Another car that you see very frequently in the Saint is a 1916 Mercedes 220S. It also appears in the Champions. It also appears in the Baron. It's a dark. It's a dark green kind of colour. And um, yes, I think the first time you see it. Um, in colour, and it's saying as the Queen's Ransom, because it's the first episode but it was made in colour. In Paper Chase, there's an, a 1954 Opal Capitaine. In The Art Collectors, there's a 1967 Rambler American um, station wagon. I wonder for years what that was, actually. Another car that was very famous for disappearing off cliffs in ITC series of the 60s was a Renault Dauphine. Originally, that footage was filmed for an episode of The Baron called And Suddenly You're Dead. But in the counterfeit countess, you see virtually all the footage of that being used and a bit of new stuff. Um, and that's a 1957 Renault Dauphine. The card that Simon Templar uses in um, The Exiting of Diamonds is a 1925 Rolls Royce Phantom Tourer by Hooper. Uh, I think it's called, uh, I think that's a TD1234 is the plate on that, which is a real plate, funnily enough. Right, we're on the last section of cars used in the Saint now. Um, congratulations on making it this far. In the Organisation Man, there's a 1965 Sunbeam Alpine Series 4, um, FPJ 535C. In The Invisible Millionaire, there's a 1961 Triumph 1200 convertible, for, um, 299EUL. In Legacy for the Saint, there's another Triumph 2000, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know I really like Triumph 2000. Um, that's a 65 model, FAR656C. The main car, actually, that Simon Templar tends to use in the world beater in terms of the rallies is a 1967 TVR Vixen Series 1, um, which is 1MOK. There's loads of other cars in that uh, episode, though. I recommend that if you're into rallying in particular. In the Angel's Eye, there is a 1963 Vauxhall Velox, which is used in the studio, but a 1965 Vauxhall Cresta used in location filming in Amsterdam. We'll finish off with a couple of Vauxhall press cars. In The Desperate Diplomat, there's a 1966 Vauxhall Viscount, that's a JXE317D, and then a similar one is a 67 Vauxhall Cresta Deluxe, LXD 948E, and that's an invitation to danger. At least I... I should know the name of the man to whom I owe my life. You mean you don't? Your Majesty, may I present the infamous Simon Templar? <laughs> Right then, it's time to ask the question that we always do. Is The Saint worth watching in 2020? Well, if you like Roger Moore, and I very much do like Roger Moore, I think he's absolutely wonderful, then The Saint's really your series. It's got lots of action in it. It's produced on presumably what was a relatively high budget, but it looks quite cheap these days. It's quite interesting seeing him gallivanting around the world or the backlot or... 
somewhere with stock footage or something. And the cars are interesting in it too. So definitely worth getting the DVD if you can. Anyway, thank you ever so much indeed for watching this cars, episode of Cars on Television and Film. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Like this video and leave a comment below. Please visit my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Lloyd Vehicle Consulting. And also got an Instagram page, instagram.com forward slash Lloyd underscore vehicle underscore consulting. Thank you.